Today I'm going to tell you how you can create your free website using Google Sites. I'm not sure if you have heard about Google Sites, but yes, Google has provided a free platform to create your own website and it is very easy. You can create your website in just 15 minutes and uh, in this video I will provide you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can create your free website. I hope this tutorial will help you in creating your first website for free and you can learn new skills by creating websites and then can acquire few clients as well or create your own pet portfolio website. In this video, I will be creating one of the portfolio websites for myself and you can see how I can create it so easy. So let's jump onto the screen and I will share you step by step process. Now, I'm not sure if you have heard about Google Sites, but yeah, it is again a Google product and you can also create a website, blogging website using Blogger platform for which I have already created a tutorial and you can see the full tutorial in the i button over here. If you have to create a website in Google Sites, what you need to do is in the screen you see, I have to type sites.google.com. Now over here, you will see there are a lot of templates. So this is all, this is it. Like you have to just click a button, find a template and the website is created. So one option is you can start with a blank website where you have to put everything on your own. However, it will be better to start with a template. So I will start with a portfolio template. You can check other templates in the template gallery. So you can find events, you can create help center, you can put your projects in. It's mainly good for students who are new and who wants to create their uh, online visibility. So there is a student portfolio. If you are a enthusiast or a part-time blogger, you can also create a graduate or a professor's or a class as well through Google Sites. You can also create a restaurant website. You can create holiday party websites. So it is a good learning platform and it can help you in uh, understanding how a website can be created. I would suggest to create your portfolio website using Google Sites as it will help in getting a bit of a reach in the online community and you can post this link in your LinkedIn profiles or in any other profiles. Over here you can see portfolio, just click on it. Now you will see the overall template being loaded and you can see some of the pages already being created. Now over here you have the option to replace the image so click on the image you will see a lot of options either to duplicate it or insert a link or uncrop it or change it or you can replace the image so i will upload my image now you can adjust the image okay and you can put you can adjust over here what you need to add so over here they have given a basic template so i'll put in hi i am gagan agrawal a blogger and a content creator from the uk okay you can add a bit more details as well like since this is a tutorial and this is a sample website so you can see you have the options as well so over here you will see select colors so i can change the colors so see i can change the style so it has changed the style see it is looking better now you can use any other styles as well or the style one is over here otherwise you can select an image and you can upload uh, or you can use uh, their image gallery so they do have google do provide a image gallery so say if i have to put in this image you select it it will insert it so and you can see some automated ways where you can remove readability adjustments as well for the purpose of this video, I will change the image to here. Now over here, you can change the website name. So you can either add a logo or you can put a name. So if you want to add a logo, you can create it through Canva. For this, again, I have already created some of the videos around how you can create your image using Canva. Otherwise, it is very simple to go to Canva or you can put your name okay you can add a header as well so over here if you click a header will be created now in the header you can put your uh, name or whatever portfolio you want to create it so since it is my portfolio i have put in my name if i have to add a logo you will see a logo option upload and favicon as well you can create it your tool is there so anchor link will be published custom domain so if you want to start a custom domain as well you can do it in google sites 
analytics google analytics will already be integrated and then any announcement you want to make it in the website so these are the options that are very handy and can be done very easily you will see lot of other sections as well you can duplicate the sections or you can find some of the predefined templates already present over here so if you select drag and drop it over here it will be inserted so if you have to add an image plus press the click uh, plus button if you have your personal images you can do it otherwise the best thing around this google sites is you can find the images through google itself so go to google go to google images so say if you search seo you will find lot of images you can use these images free, uh, through google directly so i will select this image i will insert it it will insert the image beautifully and you can click and add it like seo services you can add your services detail or you can just put in services okay over here say apart from seo you want to put a website development say as a skill then you can say website development and you will see lot of images you can just insert it so website so like this it is very easy now you can also add your presentation you can put a name of your project or you can put a youtube video link easily so just click it whatever video i have uploaded it it will be added so it is that simple now i have added one of the video i'll add one of the presentations so if you have any presentation in google slides it will automatically come in so i have one of the presentations for elementor i'll put in then the projects as well can be uploaded so you can select an image as well so i will go again and select an image and i will say the powerly seo tips so it will give an image and i can insert it and then name of the project i can put in the powerly seo tips.com okay name of the video now name of the presentation you can put in easily so please be aware this is a test version that i am doing in, but yeah you can make sure your uh, page is optimized however it is already looking pretty well a header is there my introduction is there the services i provide i can add more services as required whatever work i have done i have added at this blog i don't need so i'll delete it and get in touch you can put your email address or uh, phone number as required and then in in this section if you want to pro you can put in you can embed something you can add the text box as well see a text box is added if you have to embed any urls or any code you can do it then from your google drive if you want to add anything you can do it any images you want to add in so you will see a lot of other options like uh, table of content image buttons divider spacer social links you can add in so your personal social links you can put in whatever instagram facebook youtube those links can be inserted you can insert your youtube videos or uh, whatever videos you might want to add in easily calendars maps docs so every product of google can be integrated very easily in google sites you might not find that in bloggers very easily but in google sites you will see it is very easy to do it overall my basic page is designed and you can test and you can try it based on your requirements and then if i go to the next tab which is pages over here they have created a basic three pages now one is project page one is about one is home if you click on project page it does say that whatever project you have created you can put the images for the project in the about us page you will see it is about you so again you can change your image using the same process so right click on three buttons replace image i'll upload my same image and you can move it as required okay you can leave the impactful statement how you can create your statement you can use chat gbt or any other ai tools now to create those uh, data as well you can do is you can add a new page as well so let's add a new page so i will put a contact me done a page is created and it is automatically added to your menu as well now if you want to check the properties of the page you can click on three buttons and click on properties so basically properties is what is the page name and if you want to put a custom path you can do it so you want to redirect it to something else you can also do that uh, that bit then from about us page again the same thing is there 
and you can hide it as well so if you want to hide it from navigation so it is hidden uh, uh, otherwise it will show in the top navigation page if you want to create a sub page again click on three buttons add sub page and then the project say one done it will get into a drop down stage okay like this you can create the projects now in the contact me if you want to add your uh, contact details so go to contact me insert and then you can insert say i have to put in maps just click on maps it will be added put a location say london select it will add it as a location so if you are a small business owner or a small su services you can put your details over here and over here you can insert either a form or say and in the contact us you can put the text box saying that uh, contact please contact me using my email address or whatever you want to do you can customize that you can do everything that is required to make a beautiful portfolio website so it is very easy and i found it very user friendly basic pages are being created if you have to add a footer which is custom to everything you can add it as a footer and then say copyright kind of a footer you can create it like we do in other website platforms copyright driven agrawa done it is created if you want to move it to center it will move it to center make it bold anything you can do it now apart from the pages you have themes as well so currently we are using a simple theme i can change the color so you will see the home page might will be changed so the home page has changed if you change different themes you can understand how it is looking like so i'm currently using the current theme you can use other templates as well so the look and feel will change of the header and you can test it based on your requirements yeah so it it is it has a basic customization that can be done for a good looking website so this is the basic structure of the website you can play around it you can uh, play with the content you can use chat gpt to create your content you can integrate all your google sheets pages google maps youtube everything in one place and create your website and publish it sometimes it will becomes very easier like if you want to navigate to some things you can go to directly to site rather than going to separate bits and if you click on the links you will go individually so say if i have to go to my youtube video once i publish it if i click it it will be automatically played so we will test it other bits are if you click on this button you will see other templates are being added so you can just uh, using this button you can go to that uh, overall uh, google drive so this is basically google drive where the data is stored so your google drive should have a bit of a space and now this is a you know undo and a redo button so you have to undo if anything you can redo anything and this is a preview button where you can preview your website so this is how my website will look in a desktop in tablet it will look like this you can scroll it already it is looking very good right and then in mobile devices it will look like this and over here you will see all the buttons and the pages everything being created so only the home page is something i have created as of now but yeah you can create other multiple pages quickly and test it now it is not live as of now you can add any other users or your uh, team members or anyone else as well using this plus button in the settings button you will see mainly like how the mode is so yeah mode is either a slide way or a top so see the navigation bar is coming in color is transparent if you have to put a white so it will change to white if you have to put it as a black it will do it black otherwise it will match up with the theme brands already i have said you can create your you logo logo so it is easy to do it now the main thing publish button so if you publish the button you will see there will be a web address that will be generated based on your website name now there might be multi, there might be multiple websites which are created so you might have to search it gagan agrawal seo is present so it will be published you can use your custom domain as well so like www.gaganagrawal.com and you can repoint it so custom domain start setup enter the domain you enter your domain name say i have not purchased it but yeah if i do it will be like this and the domain name is not verified so you have to verify the ownership verifying the ownership is through 
Google Search Console. If you don't know how to verify your domain names, you can watch the video around Google Search Console. I have already created a full tutorial around how to use Google Search Console. And once you verify it, it will understand. It will have uh, analytics in place. It can integrate with AdSense as well. It can integrate with Google Analytics. All the products of Google can be used in one place. Now, analytics as said, it will measure your analytics data. So that is all mainly the settings. Now I'll create this and you have to make sure who can view my site so make sure if it is anyone if you want to uh, show it to public otherwise you can make it private as well okay for your personal use i would i would say to make it public and if you say request public uh, request public search engine to not display my site so if you if you don't want google to have that seo in place you can check it other i would request that do not check this box click on publish that is it my website is published okay view published site it has opened in the new window and see site.google.com slash view ravigunagrawal home page this is my website already created now these links i haven't inserted anything Today this is, one of the is playing already a video over here you can add your website link so if i have to add a link i'll select this image and you will see a link button and i will so i'll just copy it i will paste it and i'll apply it is created now if you click on publish it will say to review the changes so it, it doesn't publish it straight away it will say there is something that has been changed you can review it what is changed so you will have two boards currently website published and the one which i am updating it so as such i know whatever changes i have made in i'm confident you can check the url it remains the same and then press on publish it's done i'll refresh the website let's see the changes so yeah it is redirecting me to my original website so this is my portfolio website i have interlinked with my main website i have added my youtube videos i have added some of the slides or data i have created i have a in, in touch me email i have a contact me page i have some project page you can fill in the data and it will be one of your websites that can be shown to anyone you can put it to linkedin you can put it to any other social channels i would say to start this this is one of the best platforms to start creating a website to learn how to create website and to learn how to create content as well and it is free of cost there is no charge to create this website i will be creating a video around how you can use google sites for uh, blogging as well and how you can do the seo for google sites i hope this tutorial is helpful to you all and uh, if you like the video and if you have watched the video till here then do subscribe to the channel as it helps me in creating such wonderful content thank you see you in the next video bye